is up you guys so thank you for 1000 subscribers that's so awesome um yeah i just wanted to start this video off with that so hello to all you new subscribers um i hope you guys learned some stuff here and i'm so grateful for every single one of you guys who subbed and yeah so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to add birds to your photos in photoshop and it's becoming a bit of a trend lately um like taylor cut films has birds in every single photo so yeah and also if you want to leave a request in the description for any tutorials that you want to see um i'll be happy to try to make a tutorial on that because i'm running out of ideas lately okay let's get started so i have photoshop open over here and then i'm gonna open up a new picture so i'm just gonna open up this picture from my desktop and then this is what I want to add birds onto. Okay, so let's go to the internet and Google is our best friend. So let's search up birds. Actually, you want to search up birds Photoshop and then we're going to go to images. And so there's different pictures. There's some with birds on a white background and then there's others with um, without any white background. So let's just save this one and I'll show you how to put it on your photo without the white background. And then... See this one, it's all clear, it has the whole checkerboard background because that means um, it's just the birds, so if we put it over our picture, we won't see any white. So let's save this one too, and I'll show you two examples. Now let's go back to Photoshop, and I'm going to press File and Open, and I'm going to choose my two flock of birds pictures. So I have my two pictures over here, and I'm just going to drag the clear one over my photo, and you can see... It just easily goes on my photo, but this one with the white background, if I drag it on, it has a white background. So here's how you get rid of that. So let's go to our bottom right corner, and then I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. And you can also use darken if you want as well, but yeah, it gets rid of the white background. Then, when we're done, I'm just going to take off that second one because I don't like that one that much. So then when we're done, we're going to go to File, Export, Export As... And then I'm going to just do this, the settings that come with it, um, so in JPEG form. And then I'm going to export it. So yeah, that's the quick tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos. And thank you for a thousand. That's actually a thousand and twenty, I think. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Peace.